In this video, we'll show a simple technique to limit the range of values an operator can enter into a variable such as a time, timer delay or counter preset. This is easy to do with the typical HMI panel, where upper and lower limits can be set, but more difficult with the logo's built-in interface, or the TDE. Due to the logo's limited variable handling features, we have to resort to trickery. In this example, we want to allow the operator to set a time delay between 0 and 8 seconds. We can do this by allowing the operator to set a counter's current count value and passing the limited count value to the timer's T parameter. This is the FBD diagram. Let's see how it works. Here we've got an input driving a time delay and its output drives the logo's Q1. Let's add a message text so we can monitor and edit the timer values. We select the timer block from the block list and the on delay from the parameter list and drop those onto the message box display. For improved contrast in the simulator, we'll add in the white backlight. We need to enable the message text so that it's always on. We can do this by inverting the EN input, the enable input, giving it a permanent logic high. Here we see the preview and we can demonstrate that the user can, with the up and down keys, set any value. But we want to limit this to 8 seconds maximum. We'll add an up down counter and the plan here is that if the count value ever reaches 9, we'll reset the counter to 8. We can't loop the output of a function block directly back to its input, so we'll add an M flag to do this. Set the start value to 8, set the on value to 9, and the off value to 8. Enable retentivity, so that the setting is maintained during power cycle and enable protection active so the user can't adjust the upper limit. Loop M1 back to the reset input. Expand the parameter display on both blocks and create a reference from the counter's count value to the timer's T value. Next we'll go to the text message and we'll delete the timer's on delay parameter and replace it with the counter's count value, which is what the user will edit. When we simulate this, we can see our timer is now working with a preset of 8 seconds. We can adjust this from the HMI, and if we set it up to 11 and then press enter on the TDE or the logo's built-in HMI, you can see that the setting is clamped at 8. The counter will turn on its output and M1 will reset the counter. Meanwhile, we can see that we can set the count value down to 0, but it won't go negative and of course a value between 0 and 8 is accepted. Note that the timer readout is in minutes and seconds, so it gives us a little bit of a funny display on the message text box, but that's just a limitation of the logo. When the timer has a reference to parameter, the timer's on delay units can't be changed. Deleting the parameter reference allows the on delay units to be edited. The parameter reference can then be redrawn. Here we're setting the timer to seconds and hundredths. We'll allow the operator to set a value between 0 and 4000 milliseconds, and as before, the on parameter to one count higher than the 4000 limit. Nudge the parameter over one to the left so we can add the milliseconds units display to the left, to the right.
Hopefully you found this instructive. Adding a lower limit is more difficult, so I'll cover that in a separate video. Subscribe to receive a notification. Thanks.